Hey guys, Jake Spurley, founder of Fair and Event. Hope you are doing well today. In this video, we're going to be talking about upsell products, upsell items for your vendors and exhibitors. We see so often that shows are not taking advantage of the opportunity to provide upsells to their vendors and exhibitors. Think about it, guys. When you shop online, let's say Amazon, uh, your favorite holiday store, whatever that might be, during the checkout process, you always see little additional products. Hey, somebody that purchased this product also purchased these products. That is a product upsell. And you have to be taking advantage of that with your vendors and exhibitors in regards to their booth sales. Top of the board, we have five of the most common ones that we see folks not charging for. Let's get into it. Number one, electricity. This is more common in small shows, but we've seen even large shows do it too, where electricity is not free. You know, it costs you something, so you have to you have to compensate for that. Whether you just include it in the booth price, that's one thing, but a lot of folks don't include it in the booth price uh, when they're figuring out, you know, costing of square footage and, and booth space, booth space pricing, excuse me. So don't forget to charge for electricity. If you upsell electricity, you're also gonna get a better understanding of what each vendor needs for their electricity requirements. Do they need just one 20 amp plug or do they need a 30 amp or a 50 amp or you know 100 amp 220, what is it? And that's a great way to get that information by uh, positioning it as an upsell item. You know, If they need more requirements to what you basically have to offer, they should be paying for that. Number two is corner spaces. If you're not charging for corner spaces, you're probably leaving thousands and thousands of dollars left out on the table that your vendors and exhibitors love that you're not charging for. But at the end of the day, you, the show, have to be profitable and you've got to be charging for corner spaces. It, a lot of shows actually manipulate their floor plan so they can add as many corner spaces as they possibly can so they can take advantage of the premium pricing that they're able to charge for corner spots. Number three, marketing packages. A lot of folks shy away from this because they think it interferes too much with sponsorships and they are similar, but I think marketing packages have their own special spot in regards to your exhibitors and vendors. Yes, exhibitors and vendors can be sponsors as well, but here's just an additional opportunity for you to say, hey, for an extra you know, $2,000, we can put your banner up on the fence or you know, we will announce your business name five times during the show, whatever that, you know, little upsell looks like for your show, take advantage of it. Number four, event tickets. So often we just ask our vendors and exhibitors, Hey, how many tickets do you need to the show? And I was once a vendor. So I know these tricks. I would literally ask for as many tickets as I could to get my friends in my family in, you know, families, friends, whatever, because I was going to be at that event during the whole time. I wanted to have my friends come and see me and hang out with me while I was there. That stays true for any show, whether it's a festival, a fair, an expo, a trade show, um, you know, a B2B event, a B2C event, it doesn't matter, that happens. Establish a baseline number of tickets that each vendor and exhibitor gets with their booth space. Anything above that, you need to be charging for that. Yes, you can sell them at a discounted rate. That's reasonable, but you have to charge something. Because if you don't, vendors and exhibitors just take advantage of it. I am guilty when I was in the vending and exhibiting world. So take it from the horse's mouth. Number five, the last one, event merch. So many times events think that event merch is just for attendees. That's so wrong. Vendors and exhibitors want to feel connected to your attendees. And a great way to do that is by buying an event t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a hat. You know, when, when, an attendee comes up and they have that same hat. I'm like, Oh, Hey, I really like your hat. You know, I got the same one too. Now they're making that connection. It's easier for them to sell their goods to the attendees, make that connection for a, for a longer, more meaningful um, connection relationship with that attendee after your event. You could, you know, keep it simple as just a sweatshirt or one item. You could put all your items on there as an upsell. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, just have it on there. Even if you sell none and at least creates brand awareness, instead of somebody at the show is asking one of your vendors and exhibitors, hey, do you know if they have any event merch here? Your vendors and exhibitors are gonna say, well, shoot, I, I, I saw it at one point. So yeah, they probably do. You know, Let me figure that out for you. So this is also just good for uh, show and event awareness. Here, we talk about 
upsell products. So we got all five, electricity, corner spaces, marketing packages, event tickets, and event merch. If you found this video useful, please send it to just one of your colleagues or friends. We'd greatly appreciate it because we really strive to just provide value and content and education to the industry of booth base events. If you have any comments, please put them down below. Questions, we're always here to help answer them. If you haven't got started with Fair and Event yet, we encourage you to check it out, fairandevent.com. You can get started for free. Subscribe to us if you'd like. We always appreciate that. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.